On April 11th, the Biden administration announced new actions to protect consumers and lessen the burden of medical debt on American families. The announcement signals that medical debt reform is a high priority of this administration. In that April 11th announcement, they established several goals of the administration. And the first one was to hold medical providers and debt collectors accountable for some of the harmful practices surrounding medical debt and collections. They also said they want to reduce the role that medical debt plays in determining whether Americans can access credit. They want to help over a half a million of low-income American veterans get their medical debt forgiven and inform consumers of their rights. A little bit of background, this uh, April 11th announcement came just a couple days after President Biden signed an executive order that included a directive to try to reduce the burden of medical debt on Americans. And this is in addition to some of the recent work of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. The rebooted agency announced it will be taking a closer look at medical debt and its effects on credit scores. And of course, the three major credit reporting agencies said that they plan to remove a large portion of medical debt from credit reports starting as early as this summer. In that April 11th announcement, they identified various problems associated with medical debt in the United States. It's the largest source of debt in collections, it's linked to negative health effects, and there are racial disparities with the debt, higher in Black and Hispanic households. Details of some of the steps the federal government will take to fight medical debt include the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services saying they're going to report on billing and collection practices and use the data to inform their grant-making decisions. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau will investigate illegal practices related to credit reporting and debt collection, and they'll also ramp up some more of their consumer education tools. The USDA said they're going to stop considering medical debt when approving rural housing service loans. The Office of Management and Budget will direct agencies to eliminate medical debt as a factor for underwriting whenever possible. And the VA said it's going to make it easier and faster for low-income veterans to get their medical debt forgiven. Those are just a couple of the provisions of that April 11th announcement. We link to it in its entirety in the description below. 